to Charleston, Illinois and O'Brien Field for the 40th edition of the IHSA Girls State Meet, the fourth of the three-class system. 3,200 meters early on in the race, Kaylee Flanagan of Lake Park, Oswego East, Ariel Mahalik and Red Hawk Amanda Fox, your lead pack sticking together. Eventually, with less than a mile to go, Flanagan breaks away from Fox and Mahalik. She crosses first, 1030.47, Mahalik second, 1033.53, Fox takes bronze, 1035.17, a PR for the future Illini. It's just been a lot of fun racing with these all these girls for the past four years and being able to see them at the state meets and um, just running with them one last time was a great memory and I'll remember it forever and I'll hopefully see some of them in college too. 3200 meter run section two. You are looking at an all-star field on the 400 meters of Eastern Illinois University. That's what I wanted to do, go out fast and just hold on to it um, for the second half of the race and helped me out through the whole race and we were all battling the heat and I was happy with how the season went because I was able to bring down my mile time and um, gain some more speed and which really helped my two mile and I'm happy with how this race went and I was able to PR. 4x800 meter relay now, McKenna Keifel in Wheat Warrenville South in first, Emma Rifle in Glenbard West up next, Maria McDaniel and the Huskies sitting in sixth. As the anchors come around the last straightaway, it's the same two first and second. Tigers just below nine for a new record. McDaniel and the Huskies eighth, 918.89. Another Husky taking a break out of the sun. Hope Turner shades off now. Attempting 11-6 on the pole vault. Smooth sailing, Turner 9. Carolina Carmichael of Lake Forest has the bar a foot higher. She makes it look easy. She's your state champion. 4 by 100 meter relay, Alex Rosgany leading off for Niqua. Rock Island and Belleville East with an early lead, but here comes Jessica Watkins of Bolingbrook. After Watkins makes up all that ground for the Raiders, Kim Azy throws the hammer down. No one coming close to her. Bolingbrook 46.58, Lincoln Way East second, Nequa eighth, 48.43. A freshman Wildcat turned heads over the weekend. Maya Neal in lane one of the 300 hurdles. She'll take eighth. Evanston's Margaret Bang Bows, your winner, 41.1. Neal not done. Long jump now. She had a 19 foot jump on day one, 18 2 here. She's third. Her teammate Savannah Carson also had her best on Friday, 19 4 and a half. Good enough for a state title. Add in a hop and a skip and you get Bennett's and Yahiro, 37 feet and a quarter on day one, Yahiro 11th. Kate Condry of the Wildcats also triple jumping, her day one 37, seven and a quarter, good for nine. Shot put now, Tina Norris from Central, a heave of 39, 11 and a quarter here. She's not happy with it, Norris would finish 10th. Jasmine Davis from Matia tossed the rock 40, 10, and three quarters on Friday. That'll be good for sixth place. But everyone in the stadium chasing Edwardsville's Emily Henderson. Is it the Sox? She must be on to something with the fashion statement 48, two and a half. She's your state champ. Normally my first throw is always from the best Chicago throw that I make. So, I mean, the way I was Coach going out there and taking meat wise, yeah, it was really good. It felt great today. The 100, much like the two mile, was a star-studded affair. Savannah Carson, Cecily Jones, Aaliyah Brown, Morlakea Kennison, and Kim Azy have all been here before. When you get them on the track, they can really fly. A Kennison, a record tying 11.41 for her first outdoor state title. Brown second, 1107. Jones third, 1173. Carson seventh. I was overly excited. I think I was the happiest I've been in a long time. And then to see that it was win legal afterwards, so that tie of the state record really was mine. That just kind of did it for me again. I was overjoyed, excited. I can't put it into words. I think it was my most incredible start yet, the best one I've ever had. 
I envisioned my start in my head over and over again. I knew exactly what I had to do to make sure that I was with the leaders of the race when the race first started. And it just turned out that this time I was the leader of the race. A Kinnison hoping for an encore in the 200, many of the same characters playing a role in this distance too. The Warrior Senior doesn't have the best curve, sitting six halfway through. But Akinison shows her closing speed. She won't catch Brown 24-1-8, but she does take third 24-3-4. A banner day in her last as a Warrior. Edwardsville, your team champ, scoring 51 points. I didn't feel 100% after the 100, but I haven't felt 100% for quite some time now. So it wasn't that big of a deal for me, but I couldn't hide the fact that I wasn't 100% for 200 meters, unfortunately. I'm still really pleased with my performance, but I wish I could have done a little bit better. It feels really good to come out here and if in my title and run a decent time out here, but it, it feels really good to come out here after, you know, my 100 and coming out here, being able to defend my title again in the 200 meter dash today.